All right, match three. And uh, I think I will keep this hand. It does have two lands. This is a Shatter Skull. I, I have been liking Shatter Skull Smashing and Shatter Skull Pass so far. And the good news is, if I'm against Burn, I have enough time to see, so I can uh, probably just play it tapped and not take any damage. Whereas the Horizon Lands would deal me a lot of damage throughout the course of the game. Also, I can I can even be a bit more grindy with my mana base by having four of these and two of the Horizon Lands. All right, Gruel mid range. I think this uh, grindy version is particularly well set up against Gruel, but let's see. So definitely want to play Channeler. I can start channeling. I can channel my Firebolt next turn. Seems reasonable. Definitely seems reasonable. Wall of Blossoms. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'll channel a Firebolt. Huh. Yeah, I think... Clearly here, light up the stage is the better of the two. And let's see what we get. Hopefully land into some kind of one drop spell. I mean one mana is it a sorcery to make a block bad for them. Or if they force negation in, eh, I'll take that too. I'll offer them the block. Even though it's pretty obvious they're gonna block. So they seem to be on some type of, I'm guessing, Soul Herder deck. Believe it or not, I've generally found that we can outgrind those decks. I could channel the Shatter Skull Pass. And in fact, doing so will also... Uh, yeah, also make my uh, channeler into a 4-4, four -four, so I will do so. I was, I, you know, there definitely was consideration to just playing um, both giants, but uh, I'm gonna play the Swiss spear. Very nice interaction that if you ditch. The Shatter Skull Pass, the Shatter Skull Smashing, ham the Hammer Pass, it uh, it counts as, an, as sorcery for Magmatic Channeler. Alright, not, not bad. I'll take that. And then I'm set up for a pretty big attack next turn. Uh-oh, is this some type of combo? As Ulmer Fudd would say, I've got a bad feeling about this. No, oh, Soul Herder. That's not the worst combo in the world. Possibly annoying. Mm. 
I may want to start channeling actually, because I don't want them to be able to blink that with Soul Herder. Oh, but I can just prevent that by just stomping. Still think I'm gonna channel. I'm just gonna offer the attack. If they block, I'm more than fine with that. Probably should have attacked with all, actually, now that I think about it. Because, um. Because if they blocked, I could just stomp. And I get the. Get the result I want. Except I really do want to get the Soul Herder, though, so there is that. Don't necessarily want to be forced to use Stomp on the Thrag Tusk. Although I know they've got other blinking effects. Yeah, I'll just get the Stomp out of my hand. I guess in retrospect, uh, it does kind of seem like I should have attacked, but you do. Alrighty, um, it's flashback Firebolt. Yeah, the Soul Herder is gonna cause mayhem. I'm just gonna draw cards while my hand is empty. Well, it's an opportune time to do so. As they say, sweet. And this time I will attack. Um... No, actually, because if they block, and, and then they will force me to um, to use it on the other Thrag Tusk, and uh, then they can blink the 3-1 Thrag Tusk, and that would be the biggest disaster of all. I guess the opponent plays main deck Thrag Tusk because it's kind of vulnerable to aggressive strategies otherwise. Crusher now, just because I don't want them to draw. I don't want them to draw Ephemerate. If they've got it, they've got it, but I want to force them to have it rather than drawing into it. Oh, Firebolt. Still, uh, pretty good. Ooh. Yeah, actually, that down the road, that's definitely a potential, um, two for one. Oy vey. What a, what a grind fast. I mean, I'm definitely... I'm, this is definitely not overwhelming me. At least not yet. And this is... This is a... This are some very interesting card choices that I'm not used to. Yeah. I'll take the, uh... And I can actually set her skull pass. Um, oh, but then they can counter it. Yeah, I guess I'll just flash back. Firebolt. And I'll hold on to the land for, um... For channeling purposes later down the road. I 
Actually, I need the land for, uh, to maximize, uh, Shatter Skull, actually, so maybe, maybe not. Do I want to play Swiss Bear, though? I don't think that's necessary yet. Might want to end up pissing, pitching this. Yeah, I'll play it. Just maximize my mana. The opponent had to use Glenelander's ability to counter, otherwise the negative one negative one counters would have prevented persist. Femur <sighs> so annoying. Interesting they don't blink the Thrag Tusk more. I guess they realize that I very well might pull ahead with just Thrag Tusks, so they need to start drawing into something else. Probably another Soul Herder is what they really need. Close deal. Eternal Witness, so they can have their wish of having Sulfur back. Man, the opponent's deck seems so clunky, though. Like, look at all these expensive clunk clunkerific cards. Um, but, you know, they really, really want to win the late game, and I guess, uh, I guess, you know, you gotta give it to them. If they want to win the late game this bad, um, they, uh, they're entitled to it, I guess. So. I need to be able to deal with that soul burner. Wait a minute, what do they get back? They got back Ephemerate. All right. Well, hopefully this draws out. You know what? I'm. I don't. I'm not going to waste my time. This is a. I mean, it's kind of an interesting game, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they have it. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry if uh, anybody wanted to see that play out more. But um, I just it. It's just you know I have I have like a I have a life believe it or not. And uh, I want to, um, I don't want to waste unnecessary time. <clears throat> um, it's probably a mistake. I, definitely there is a possibility I could still grind it, grind it out. Just, But, you know, I think, I think I've got enough tools in games two and three that it doesn't, it won't really make a difference. Um, I'm trying to think of what to bring out. Like, almost all these cards are good. I think I'll take out the Swift Spears. The Relics help a lot to control the, um, to control the, uh, Eternal Witnesses. Those shenanigans. I want, I want to squeeze a Blood Moon in here. Because I do think that they are somewhat susceptible to Blood Moon. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go max control. I'm just going to board in the Blood Moons instead of um, Soul Scars. Um, yeah, I think I can afford to do this. Just because the game is so grindy. And I can also ditch extra copies of Blood Moon. Can't keep this, no. Um... Well, I don't like keeping this, but I, I am because I can't go. I don't feel like I can go too much further down. But uh, the main reason I'm keeping this is just because I can cycle the relics. But this is definitely not where I wanted to be. Well, I'm still gonna cycle one relic. Uh, I'm not gonna play the light up the stage just yet don't really need two relics. 
and I kind of want to cycle them before I play Firebolt. I think I want to hold on to one, though. That's a good Firebolt target if I've ever seen one. Hmm. Clunky. Yeah. I'll just play it, uh, play it tapped. It's my turn to be Clunkmaster 3000. Ephemerate. Well, good to know about. So they might ephemerate in response. Uh, well, I can actually... I'm not going to live in, in fear of ephemerate. i gotta get my got to get my game going. If I were them, I'd ephemerate right now. Well, clearly I am not them. Not sure if they're going to do it now. Not sure why they wouldn't have just done that while I tapped out, but alas. Maybe they're waiting for like a total blowout and they're waiting for me to target it, but I know about it though. get some guaranteed soul herder value. <sighs> okay, they really like the frag tusk. Not sure what, I guess the blue is for Glenelendra. If I draw a land, I think I'm in pretty decent shape. I get to know about the uh, Deputy of Detention. Well, that works too. Alright, the plan is I'm gonna... Well, I guess I have to... I have to stomp now, or forever hold my peace. That means the giant is obviously going to go the way of the dodo. But, so be it. Well, hopefully they don't have another one. I led that way, because obviously I don't want to telegraph what I have. If I led on bolt, they might have just let it go, and then... Then my uh, giant. Well, yeah, and then I would have had to have gone for the co coiling oracle, and then they would have um, just blinked that. So they had me either way. Now, I don't think they've got another ephemerate because they could have played it last turn if they did. Alright, another soul herder. Well, I can deal with that at least. Alright. Hmm. Man, cutting them off white seems nice, but I think I think considering they've got a dispel, I gotta deal with the soul herder now or forever hold my peace. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna crack relic. I need to draw I need to hit my land drops. Losing Fireball sucks, but I, I just can't afford to keep missing land drops. Hmm. 
Mm, hopefully now I can play Blood Moon. Actually, I wouldn't be cutting off of white, I'd be cutting them off of nothing. Flame slashing the. Now, you know, I'm just gonna ditch the flame slash on the Blood Moon. Just, I need to be able to grind out more cards. Yay, I can hit my land drops. I'm gonna wait till they crack the fetch to Lightning Bolt. I should have yielded until end of turn, because uh, they might have suspected something based on the way I was kind of inching to my end step instead of yielding till end like I normally do. Thankfully they didn't, so their dispel hopefully will rot in their hand. They're probably going to have targets for it at some point, though. Guessing they're gonna deputy of detention the season power master or the tokens. The tokens actually might be a good value play. Because there's no way that um Yeah, there's no way I get the value back. Yeah, season power master is risky, because then if I kill it later, I, I get I get to draw two cards again. I might be right about ready to turn the corner. And, and I think I needed the Season Power Masher to do so, so I'm glad I held on to it. Alright, definitely I'm going to bolt the, uh, the Beast. It's the most threatening card. Yeah, they, and there they got the uh, Dispel, but got to get it out of my hand. And I can bolt the Beast again. I think there's some consideration of holding cards in my hand now for um, for a Magmatic Channeler. This could be risky, I uh, just don't want to get dispelled again. You know, obviously they got another Soul Horror, <clears throat> then this might be a little too much for me. But let's see. They have a lot of removal. Thankfully, they're only hitting for three. Yeah, good choice. They almost always go for four life, even when pretty clearly that's not really that important. Ooh, gonna go down to one. Uh, this might be it. I definitely think we had uh, we had a chance this game. A uh, lava dart would have helped out a lot. I didn't board out lava dart, did I? No. All right, I'm not dead quite yet. Not sure what we can realistically draw though. Probably it has to be. Uh, Season Pyromancer into into Lava Dart into good game.